50,000 watt AM 1520 WWKB Buffalo. Welcome to this week's edition of the Dale Martin Jobs and Business Report, sponsored in part by Sunbelt Network, the place to go buy or sell a business, Shatter IT, and other successful business partners. If you're interested in hearing about the current employment environment, either as a job seeker or employer, have a job-related question, or simply growing your business, stay tuned and join the discussion at 803-1520. And now, here's Dale and Andrea. Good morning, Western New York. Welcome to the Dale Martin Jobs and Business Report with the wonderful Andrea Tadaro. She will be joining us momentarily. But each Sunday from 10 a.m. to 1030, we have a very business-friendly conversation about jobs, economic development, and the people that are making it happen. And today is no different. Uh, We're going to have another surprise. And if you've been following our show for the last couple of weeks, the theme, I would say, has that has been pretty consistent has been entrepreneurism in Western New York. We've had a number of guests in studio with us that have talked about their business, talked about what does entrepreneur means to them, how they funded their company, and what they are doing to take their business to the next level. And that's a topic that we're going to be, um, we're going to stay with for a while because Western New York has a number of great businesses, uh, small and large businesses. And these entrepreneurs have decided, you know what, to take their organization to the next level. And what I mean by that is that they have put a a sincere laser-like focus on their business. And they're starting to uh, take advantage of the number of uh, business workshops that are offered in and around Western New York. And we're going to be talking about that as well because there is a number of business startup organizations that are uh, popping up. And I think they all hold a lot of value for the entrepreneurs, he or she, again, that are looking to grow their business. Today's show is brought to you by Jets Pizza, over 75 varieties of pizza. And once again, Just Pizza is celebrating their 20th year anniversary. So visit any one of their 12 locations throughout Western New York and patronize them. In fact, as you know, each and every week, we always have the Just Pizza business question of the day. So we like to uh, have our listeners go to the Just Pizza Facebook page, like them, and answer the secret business question. You can look for the icon that has the microphone, the Dale Martin business secret question of the day, and answer the question. Everyone is a winner. And over the last couple of weeks, we've had a number of winners that have really have been participating in the show, and we want to con- continue to move that forward. And today's business question is, how many ounces of mozzarella cheese is put on a just pizza, large traditional pizza? I'm going to say it again. Okay, the business question of the day is how many ounces of mozzarella cheese is put on a just pizza, large traditional pizza? So go to the Just Pizza Facebook page. Again, like them and answer that question and you too will be a winner. Well, as we're waiting for Andrea to come in, again, I want to kind of go back to uh, some of the uh, entrepreneurial topics that we've been sharing with our listeners over the last couple of weeks. And I want to maybe pick up with the head coach. Mr. Greg Lamberto was a uh, guest on our show, and Greg talked about, or Mr. Lamberto talked about ants, uh, those automatic negative thinkings. And we are all faced with those automatic negative thinkings thinking topics and thinking points that will eliminate us from growing our business. And Greg has been putting on a number of workshops. Uh, In fact, he has one coming up in a couple of weeks, and I'm going to pull out the actual date. Uh, I, in fact, attended one several weeks ago myself, and it was an amazing workshop. Uh, Greg put together a, uh, a workshop, I would say, that lasts maybe about two and a half, three hours. And for me, it was the best two hours of my particular day because I walked away with a wealth of knowledge and information, things that I can help grow my business with. And speaking of my business, uh, I am the owner of Martin and Associates, a business consulting, franchise development, and professional staffing company. And what I do is I help individuals that are seeking career opportunities. I also work with businesses that are looking for great talent. And so with that being said, there are a number of positions that I'm working on right now. In fact, I have an opening within my company. I'm looking for a business uh, development account manager, someone with four to five years of experience that's very comfortable and fluent with working uh, B2B sales, going out, talking to businesses. And I have a number of projects that are going to be happening over the next couple of months. And I'm looking to hire at least two 
business development account managers. Also, uh, as you might be aware of, I'm also the director of franchise development with Sunbelt Business Brokers of Western New York. And so if you're looking to buy a business, sell a business, or looking to franchise your business, that's another area of expertise that I work in. And I'm working with a number of businesses that are looking to, again, take their business to the next level. And that's what Western New York is all about. It's about business. Business in Western New York does work. It just works differently. And if you partner with the right organizations, you can not only find your passion, whether it be starting a new job or, again, taking your business to the next level. Also, just like to mention that in the coming weeks, we have a who's who of lineups coming on our show. Uh, We're going to have Business First uh, appearing on our show. We're also looking forward to having Mr. Jody LeMayo, the uh, CEO of ECMC. I spoke with him a couple of weeks ago, and I'm excited about uh, having him on the show. And in fact, if you are a business owner out there and you're looking to uh, be a guest on our show, we want you to give us a call. My telephone number is 563-0238. Again, that's Dale Martin with Martin and Associates, 563-0238. Our number one goal is to share the wealth of business knowledge in and around Western Europe. We want to, you know, we bring on employers that can talk about the openings that they have. And there are just a number of positions that are available throughout Western New York. And again, we're going to be sharing a lot of that information. Also, there is a number of professional development workshops that are happening. Now, what is the, the, the importance of that? Well, in order for an individual to find his or her next employment, okay, you're going to have to sharpen your pencil. And sharpening your pencil means connecting with a professional development uh, series that can help help you better market yourself. And so I encourage all of our job seekers out there to pay attention to the different workshops that are happening. Uh, Just looking at Sunday's newspaper, there's just a lot going on. And if you're struggling with a particular career opportunities, I want to hear from you. Again, my telephone number is 563-0238. Again, 563-0238. Also, staying with the theme of entrepreneurism, there is a local entrepreneur and the business is located in the uh, Galleria Mall and it's Just Golden Gourmet Popcorn and Drinks and Snacks. Uh, Mr. Skeet Whitlow, the owner of that particular business, is doing an amazing job. And if you're interested in in licorice from from Australia or just candy, if you have a a love for chocolate and popcorn, you need to go to Just Golden Gourmet Popcorn and Drinks. Again, it's located in the Galleria Mall and ask for Mr. Skeet Whitlow. Tell me, tell me you heard uh, his name and number on the Dale Martin Jobs and Business Report with Andrea Todaro and he will take care of you. So, you know what? This is what we're going to do. We're going to take a quick one minute break. And when we come back, we're going to get into the depth of today's conversation. Again, talking about entrepreneurism and hearing some from a great local entrepreneur. You're going to be very excited. So don't go anywhere. We will see you on the other side of the break. When we got a dog from the SPCA for our son, Eric, we thought it would be a good way for him to learn responsibility. Eric and Buddy hit it off right away, running in the yard, playing on the carpet. But Eric seemed to turn to Buddy at other times, too. If Eric got a bad grade, he told Buddy first. If Eric was picked last in gym class, Buddy was always there to listen. Yeah, Eric takes good care of Buddy, but Buddy takes pretty good care of Eric, too. You're independent SBCA of Erie County. It's not funded by the government. It's not supported by tax dollars. But the SBCA is always there when they're needed, whether they're helping a family adopt their first puppy or rescuing pets from a national disaster. To get involved, just go online to yourspca.org. Because when you support your independent SPCA of Erie County, you're supporting more than the pets. You're supporting the people who love them. Open your heart to the SPCA because love is a four-legged word. McGruff the Crime Dog here with my nephew Scruff. Here's the address for my new free comic activity book. Scruff McGruff, Chicago, Illinois, 60652. Scruff, McGruff, Chicago, Illinois, 60652. It shows kids what to do about guns and drugs and bullies and strangers. And it's got games and puzzles, too. Write it down now. Scruff, McGruff, Chicago, Illinois, 60652. 
A public service message from this station, the U.S. Department of Justice, the Crime Prevention Coalition, and the Ad Council. A new voice, a new choice, AM 1520. Welcome back to the Dale Martin Jobs and Business Report with the wonderful Andrea Tadaro. Again, your Sunday friendly business conversation where we talk about jobs, economic development, and the people that are making it happen. And over the last several weeks, we've been having a, a very consistent theme of entrepreneurism. And today, this Sunday is no different. We're going to be talking about entrepreneurism, and we want you to join the conversation. So, Andrea, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Dale. I'm doing great, and I'm doing even better because I cannot wait to disclose to our audience members our, our guest for today's show. Um, you know, we always talk about jobs in Buffalo, how to find them, how to be, you know, really empowered to find employment in, in Western New York. And, and I discuss my client base of individuals with disabilities that I work with. And, you know, really the health and wellness component cannot be underestimated, cannot be underemphasized. You know, I feel as if a person, in order to be their very best and at the top of their game, has got to be healthy. And this is exactly what our platform topic is going to be about today. <laughs> so, okay. yeah, I'm really excited to have Ridley Phoenix in the studio with us today. And I'm excited for her to take it off and really talk about organic living um, and, and raw foods. And, you know, the thing that I find really interesting, Ridley, is, is just how in the world's, um, you know, most remote regions, how some of the the people there are living the longest lives and the greatest sense of well-being and I really do want to talk a little bit about that you know how do people in these cultures you know in a world far away <laughs> and there's the best of health in the remote corners of the world and you know for thousands of years a handful of cultures have mastered the art of living well well you know I'd like to know how to live to 90 100 years old and and not really feel old you know be still surfing and doing those kinds of things so you've really kind of discovered some of that you've tapped into it and I want to know more about it. Excellent, Andrea. Yeah. Um, it's really phenomenal to me looking at um, the eight, nine, ten most long-lived cultures in the world. Um, one of the things that they all have in common is that all of them eat fermented foods every single day. And these fermented foods are a little bit different than what we sell in the stores today because these fermented foods that they eat are homemade, they have no extra strange preservatives, and the probiotic cultures in them are still alive. They are not pasteurized, they're not cooked, they're not heated. Um, you know, they're just vaguely warmed and they ferment and all those probi uh, probiotic cultures are still there. And that really makes their intestines very, very healthy. Mm. Ah, interesting, interesting. So how to preserve those probiotic cultures? You know, I'm curious about the raw foods. I recently had done a raw food cleanse at Merge, as you know, a Merge restaurant in Buffalo. And, and it was really, really enlightening. I mean, I felt a sense of levity. I started getting back into my workout routine again, uh, working out 45 minutes a day. And it was just fascinating to, to kind of feel that breath of life. I felt 20 years younger again. So I really want to know about how you teach people to eat well and live live well. Um, I think it's it's more than just eating. It's also a lifestyle all the way around. So that's absolutely that. right. Um, absolutely. It's definitely a lifestyle. And you know, when you say you felt 20 years younger, that you know, what's funny is that's not an overstatement. And it's actually very common. I hear that from my clients. They'll tell me after a week, oh my goodness, I've already lost five pounds. I feel 20 years younger. I can't believe the wrinkles are vanishing from around my eyes. And you know, even when people don't lose weight, they notice their fat is turning to muscle. Um, so it's a very fast uh, transformation when you go to a raw food diet. Um, and even if you don't, you know, change all of the foods you eat, even if you just change one meal a day, um, all the most long lived cultures eat raw foods on a daily basis. And if you go to play, anyone you talk to is very healthy. They always tell you somewhere in their diet, they're eating greens. It's there somewhere. They're eating fresh mm. greens. Mm. Wonderful, wonderful. I know that so many people are interested in reducing, you know, cancer, heart disease, diabetes, obesity. I mean, these are our greatest vices in the U.S. and other areas of the world. And, you know, I'm just excited about those centenarians, you know, and the, the people, the super centenarians that live past 110. And so I think we have to start in our 20s, 30s, and 40s really addressing these issues, nipping it in the bud, and recognizing how we can be like some of these superheroes. So my question question is, you know, how do you, you know, I know that you work as a consultant uh, for raw foods. You probably do a lot of raw food cooking yourself. And, you know, if someone comes to you and they say, you know, their stomach's hurting um, after everything they eat, what should I do? Like, how would you, I don't even want to say diagnose that, but what would you recommend for that kind of person? 
Well, when, you know, people saying coming to me and saying they're having stomach problems is one of the most common problems because food passes through the stomach. Mm -hmm. And people are eating so much artificial food today, and it really irritates the stomach lining. It really irritates the intestinal lining. And there's so much stuff that you first have to work on, you know, getting out of your diet. But if you focus on that, that can be very discouraging. People are like, oh, you know, I don't want to stop eating my favorite food, even if it is giving me a stomach ulcer. Um, so I think one of the best places to start is give people um, something very exciting to eat and say, look, you can eat this and this is going to help heal you. And mm -hmm. if it's something really delicious and it reminds them of a lot of their favorite foods and they're like, this is brand new. I love this. I mean, people don't realize, for example, you can have a raw pizza. You can make raw lasagna just because it's not cooked, just because it doesn't have gluten in it doesn't mean that it's not going to be delicious and yes. I think there's a lot to be said about the, yeah, I'm just going to paraphrase and call it the, the business of healthy eating because if you're eating healthy, you feel better and you are even a, a greater asset to your employer. A greater asset to society, to your employer, to your family. And, you know, the question about cooking, um, you know, why raw food, I guess, is, is that cooking destroys 100% of the enzymes, you know, which are vital to yes. digestion and 80% of vitamins and minerals. Let's talk a little bit about that, about, you know, what happens when you cook versus the raw foods and vegetables and how you're getting beneficial vitamins that way. Well, when you cook any food, um, as you said, yes, 100% of the enzymes are destroyed. And a lot of people don't realize what enzymes are. Enzymes are essentially what cause every chemical reaction in the body. So without enzymes, nothing in your body would work. When you take a breath, thousands of enzymes, millions of enzymes are going to work in your body all the time. Um, so when you eat food that's cooked, there's no enzymes in it. Your body has to generate enzymes to digest that food to get the minerals and the vitamins out of it. Now, if the food is raw, those enzymes are already there. And that makes it so much easier on your body, especially because digestive enzymes are very powerful. They're eight times as strong as the enzymes that work in your liver and other parts of your body. So it's very, very powerful to have the food enzymes already present. And I mean, also losing 80% of the vitamins is yeah. tremendous. Mm -hmm. And that's a scientific fact. You can look into that. 80% of vitamins and minerals on average are destroyed during cooking. Mm -hmm. And you know, as you were saying, um, it is definitely true that people will say when they get onto a raw food diet, it's so interesting to me that most raw foodists are entrepreneurs. This is totally yes, true. Yes. Um, if you go to California, uh, where they have a much larger raw food community than we have in Western New York, um, but the Western New York community of raw food is growing. Um, but if you go to California, and you'll notice a lot of the small companies are run by raw foodists. And you mentioned a key point, Dale, that you know this is really a growing enterprise. This is something to really capitalize on in Western New York because it's it's kind of an, an under discovered niche. You know, it's it something really is. that is now kind of open wide territory for you to be able to create as an entrepreneur. So do you find it's it's not particularly saturated? I, I don't think there are a lot of raw food experts in Western New York, right? <laughs> <laughs> like no, we, there are I'm not. About that. Maybe in California, but not necessarily in Western New York. So it seems like the market's wide open for creativity and exploration. How do you get the word out about what you do? How do you kind of promote and, and kind of uh, educate the community on raw food and health awareness? One of my favorite things to do is to go to raw food potlucks. You discover a lot of fun dishes that way, and it's a great way to introduce new people to raw food. You know, say, well, you know, just come to a potluck and try it out, and then it really saves me the work of having to prepare all these fancy stuff and say, try this, because all the fancy stuff's already at the potluck. Somebody else did the work for me, you know? Wonderful. So that's really an excellent way to get your business started with raw food is if you, you know, just go to the potlucks and tell your friends, come and see me there, and they will get to to try all kinds of different things. Sometimes people bring a raw cheesecake. Sometimes people bring a raw apple pie. Sometimes people bring a raw lasagna. And all kinds of things you've never even heard of because there's no name for it yet. People don't know what to call these new raw dishes they come up with. They're delicious, but nobody knows yeah. what to call it. And at the raw food party last night, I experienced your mint ice cream. I think it was, and Aaron created that, right? Yeah. And, yeah it was really fantastic. And Aaron made that on the fly. He's yeah. just like, here's some frozen bananas. And you know, oh, he just whipped that up. So decadent. It really, really was. And then you had some chocolate bars. Explain those a little bit. Yeah. Um, so at Potluck, sometimes I like to sell uh, raw organic chocolate bars, and I make them with the highest quality ingredients. I really do not compromise on ingredients at all. Um, and all the ingredients are raw, so usually when you go to a store and you buy chocolate, um, even organic chocolate, all the ingredients are cooked. 
And this actually makes the chocolate more bitter, so they have to add more sugar because when you cook the chocolate bean, it gets twice as bitter. And so they have to add more sugar to, to really compensate for that. Now, because I'm using raw cacao, um, you know, just the bean, the whole cacao bean, it looks a lot like an almond. Um, I don't have to add a whole lot of sweetness to it, and I don't use any sugar to sweeten it. I use um, dates. I was noticing that fruit and some of the natural sweeteners right in there. So I didn't feel like I was on a primeval sugar high and coming down to a crash afterwards. Exactly. Sometimes people really underestimate the sweetness of dates. You can really, and because dates have such a mild flavor, you can really blend them into anything to add sweetness. Now you were mentioning, yes, uh, Andrea was at the party with me. Um, it was the Buffalo Monthly Live Food um, Potluck at Aaron's Place. And uh, anyone can come. It's at 86 Livingston Street, and it's the third Saturday of every month. And it starts at 5 p.m. And if you're new to Roth food and you don't really know what to bring, that's totally fine. Just um, bring some organic fruit, you know, keep it real simple. Bring some organic apples or a bunch of bananas and we'll whip up something, you know, and show you what you can do with those foods. We'll make it fun for you. That's what we Incredible did. Incredible stuff. <laughs> you know what, Andre, and I can't help, I, ha I can't hold on to this any longer. You're a young entrepreneur, yeah. and which is even more inspiring. So can you share with our listeners, you know, your motivation? What inspired you to, you know, get into the healthy eating and, and start your own business? I actually was, um, I don't want to say forced, but I was uh, kind of nudged a little bit. Um, when I was uh, 16 and I was in high school, I was also working at the same time. And I was also in an abusive relationship. And I you know, had so much going on. And I had no time to pay attention to how I was really feeling in my body. And I really ignored my body. And I just kind of ate whatever. You know, I was kind of just like everyone else, just eating whatever was in front of me, which often was potato chips and French fries and soda and um, my diet was really bad and I didn't really think about that until I started getting acid reflux seven eight times a day and um, I found out later that I had a stomach ulcer but you know the doctors didn't really want to believe that a 16 year old had a stomach ulcer they really wanted to say that it was you know that I was having an anxiety attack I really didn't know how to explain what was wrong with me to my doctor because I didn't even know I was getting acid reflux I was saying I had chest pains that I you know was having trouble breathing that I was getting faint and they said oh that must be an anxiety attack and you know common for 16 year olds um, so I started really becoming a very avid researcher I started reading every single day I got started with reading dr. Mark Hyman's blog and that was really um, very helpful to me he's not into raw food I it took me a while to discover raw food and it was really it was so helpful for me to discover raw food because at the time I was starting to say oh well high fructose corn syrup I can't eat that anymore take that out oh you know white sugar can't eat that anymore take it out and I was like oh no what do I eat you know and I got to the point where I read a package label and it felt like there was nothing in the world to eat so when when I discovered raw food, I was like, oh, I can eat this. I can eat all of this. I went to a raw potluck and I was amazed. I was like, I can eat the pie because there's no added sugar. It's just sweetened with apples and dates. I can eat all this, this whole array of foods it was totally available to me. And I became very excited right off the bat because I had already for several years not been able to eat anything but, you know, like rice and potatoes. My diet was mm -hmm. so boring before I discovered raw food. And they were absolutely delicious on top of it. That's the yes. most important thing is that when people think raw food, they think, ick, you know. They think that it's <laughs> got to be bland. And, yeah, exactly. My former boyfriend referred to it as birdseed, yeah, affectionately, oh, no. <laughs> maybe unaffectionately. And so tell me a little bit about where you foresee your business going. You know, I know you're incredibly passionate about it, and you talked about it at its inception and how it helped and transformed your life. How are you going to morph this in the future? And especially in Western New York's business climate, tell me a little bit about what you foresee for that, you know, where you see it going here, or are you going to take it on the road a little bit? <laughs> well, I have taken it a little bit on the road. I went on a trip in March 2012. Um, where I went through North Carolina, went down to Florida, went through Georgia, went even went through Kansas a little bit, um, you know, made a pit stop to visit family. Cool. Um, so it's very fun to travel and share raw food with people. Um, I shared, actually stayed with a couple in Florida for 10 days, and we kind of did a little bit of a barter um, where they paid for all of my expenses, and then I got to stay in their beach house, which was very nice, and I made all of their food. And she, she lost 11 pounds in the first month of raw food, starting with those, um, those 10 days that we spent with her. And I was so happy for her. Um, but uh, just in general, what I'm doing with my business is kind of going off and every, I'm just kind of reaching my tentacles out in all different directions. So I have several ebooks for sale on my website. Um, I saw that. Uh, <laughs> the one I'm probably most excited about is Vitamin Confusion Solution, which is, I know that's kind of a mouthful, but 
you know, it really is a solution to the confusion with vitamins because everyone's like, you know, I hear this is high in that mineral and I hear that is high in that mineral. Which one's higher? Which one's better? Which one's more efficient? And what's really high in four different things that I need at once? Because we need to be efficient about this. We can't, you know, um, be all over the place trying to get what we need. Um, so I feel like people are really confused and I feel like they needed a solution. I needed a solution. Mm -hmm. So I spent four months researching and making reference charts, you know, and getting that together so that somebody could ask the question, you know, if I want a food that's really high in iron, magnesium, and calcium all at once that I like, and they can look at the chart and see which is high in all of those and then, you know, pick which ones they like and say, okay, now I know you know, for a fact how much I'm getting. And I also have nutritionally complete meal plans, which have all of your recipes are planned. It's already nutritionally complete every single day. Your whole grocery list is planned for you. Um, so it keeps it very straightforward. And in the future, I definitely see the, you know, publishing these in print. Um, for now, you know, I'm just doing the eBooks because going through a publisher is a lot of paperwork and nonsense. And of course, they also take out most of your profit when you go to a publisher. She's certainly a business person. Yeah, she really, really is. <laughs> she she recognizes on that. absolutely. So you're really trying to keep it cost effective and user friendly at the same time. Yes. And it's great to see that seven day meal plan, the raw recipes and everything, because people really want something simple. They want it reduced to its bare necessities. It, it can be very confusing and unwieldy. And when you think of raw foods, well, what do I eat? Well, do I have to really sift through a lot of science to understand this, but you yeah. make it really simple. Now, do people consult with you? Do they sit down and have a consultation with you first, and, or do you get them kind of on a regimen? Do they meet with you regularly? How does it work, out of curiosity? Well, if they're local, we might go on to um, a trip to the grocery store and do kind of a tour and, you know, let them know that this is your local grocery store and here's what you can get at your store. And, you know, with your budget, here's what you can buy that will be good for you. And especially if I talk to them about what conditions they might have, you know, if they are anemic and they really need more iron, if they're a diabetic and they need to get low glycemic foods and really go over that with them and make it really simple. Here's your store. Here's what you can buy. Um, but but for the most part, I do most of my consulting via the internet so that, you know, it's open to anybody, um, you know, local or otherwise. Um, you know, when it comes to my own practice, I like to buy local, but, you know, I don't discriminate if somebody, uh, you know, in Europe wants to consult with me, o you know, over the internet. Sure, sure. And let's make sure we get your, um, your uh, email information out Contact there, your website. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, my website's really simple. All you really have to do is remember how to spell my name. Um, it's raiderly.com, so uh, www.ra.com. D E R L E. And the way you can kind of remember how to spell it is it has three E's in it. So Rager Lee, and with mm -hmm. the three, and if you remember, there's three E's, no Y's, no I's. That pretty much <laughs> keeps it pretty straightforward. Wonderful, wonderful. And then also email. Do you have an email or is that right on your website? It's right on my website. I have a contact page on there. And you know, a great way to find me also is on Facebook. You know, type in my name on Facebook. Nobody else has the name Raider Lee Phoenix. <laughs> so you won't get confused trying to find me. I also have a fan page there. So, And if you botch up the website, you can contact me at 883-1793. Um, I'm Andrea Tadaro. I'm the president of Innovative Placements, and I work with people with disabilities, helping them to find employment. So if you want to reach Readerly through me in some way, happy to help you with that. Um, you know, again, the name is, it's so beautiful, but I might botch it up if I was trying to get there, even with your wonderful description of it. So, But no, really, this is so exciting, and it's so exciting for the job seekers that we work with and, and for business professionals to really learn about how can they equip themselves with an understanding of healthy living. And it sounds like you give them all of the tools, you know, whether it be online, through the internet, which I think is a great tool because, you know, you're saving time, money, and energy doing that. You know, you're working with them still very directly so you're able to do that, and it's cost-effective for your business. But then you also do that, you know, treating them by taking them to the, the store, which I think is really cool, too. Anything else? Any parting comments, Raider Lee? <laughs> uh, yeah. If somebody wants to actually get started next weekend, um, the – Sunday, February 24th is the monthly, uh, last Sunday of the month potluck. It's at the Time and Towers Community Room, which is um, 1015 Delaware Avenue. And if you just find me on Facebook, I can give you the information. I'm also having a um, raw potluck at my house that's also going to double as an auction wow. February 23rd, Saturday. Um, my address is 583 West Utica Street, and that's where it's going to be at. So, um, but in case you can't remember all that off the top of your head, just go to Raiderly.com or find me on Facebook. Facebook. 
And I know at the last raw food event, they had 40 people. So it's really advancing and growing. So definitely. this is definitely the latest craze and it's exciting. And uh, it's definitely not just going to be a craze. This is here to stay, I think. Yeah. I really do. What do Abs you think, Dale? Absolutely <laughs> beautiful. Again, the, the business of eating healthy, eating raw food, yeah. who would have ever known? You just really have educated me. And you exude so much energy yeah, and you passion. It, you know, it's, it's not, it's very uh, amazing to see a young entrepreneur like yourself. I think that what you bring to the table is something unique and something we need to see a lot more in Western now, Europe. I was just going to say, we need more like Raider Lee. We yes, need to we clone do. her for sure. Yes. So I think thank we're going to see more people like that here. Absolutely. So, oh, another, another fast half hour? Yes, <laughs> it is. Get the words out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Buffalo, thank you so much for joining the Dale Martin Jobs and Business Report with the wonderful Andrea Tadaro. Today, we've been talking about the business of eating healthy. Raider Lee has explained just a number of different menus. Uh, made me hungry. Yeah, so, I'm famished. Yes. <laughs> so, Buffalo, join us next week. We will see you back here, same place, same time. A new choice, a new voice, 15, 20 a.m. Have a beautiful week. Have a beautiful week. Thank you for listening to the Dale Martin Jobs and Business Report, sponsored in part by Sunbelt Network, the place to go buy or sell a business, Shatter IT, and other successful business partners. Tune in next Sunday at 10 a.m. to learn the very latest job and business news from around Western New York. Be sure to also listen to Dale's weekly feature on our sister station, WBEN, every Monday night between 7.15 and 7.30.